Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to yet another one of my weekly hauls. Um, this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. As you know by the title, I popped into my local Dollar Trees to see what was going on. And they're still kind of in the process of transitioning out all of the uh, graduation stuff and going into full-blown summer. And so there's kind of a little bit of a smorgasbord of spring, summer, graduation, and a little bit of everything going on at once once so i just popped in to see if i found any of the new new and uh so if you want to see what i was able to pick up this time around i'm happy to share it with you all you have to do is keep right on watching So although I tried my best to kind of separate the things into sections, uh, it didn't quite work out. So it wouldn't be another one of my hauls if it was organized anyway. So I'm just going to dive right in. Um, but I'm going to start with whatever didn't fit inside the bin. And so this time around, I found these um, plastic cups with this really nice pattern. They have... Um, they kind of look like eucalyptus leaves and like maybe a hibiscus flower or something. In any event, it has a really nice pattern. I like the pops of color with the turquoise and the orange and the black and the white. So I picked up two cups and they bring uh, 15, 14 ounce cups per pack. So I thought that was a pretty cool deal for a dollar, you know, summertime coming, barbecues, picnics, and what have you. You always have the need for that. Um, I have a wedding that I'm going to be attending next month, so I thought I'd pick up this really nice card, and it's just a really nice card with the corresponding um, envelope. You can freeze that if you like, so you can read the inside, and it is a hallmark from the uh, Heartline. Hallmark Company and um, it's just a little pink corresponding card so I thought that was cute. Um, I found uh, this pack of Fab Spring Magic and they're just detergent gel pods and this says this is in the classic formula and they make 10 loads so I'm assuming they're 10 pods per pack so I picked up two packs to give them a shot and I thought that was cool for a dollar as well um, I also found these two new seasonings from the supreme tradition now this is a brand that's uh, typically um, usually at Dollar Tree all the time at least my Dollar Trees anyway because I buy a lot of this supreme tradition um, seasonings and I just picked up the steakhouse and the taco seasoning to give it a try and these say this one is a 2.5 5 ounce and this is a 3.75 ounce so one is a little bigger than the other or has a little bit more either way I picked them up and I thought that was great then I picked up some car fresheners um, automobile refresheners and I picked up these two and this just says is a lemon lime sunshine and these are the little vent clips that you just stick inside your um AC vents or heating vents and it kind of has like that um what do you call essential oil and it's um lemon sunshine and I just anything lemon just screams of summer to me and I just they took they drew me in with this packaging with the lemons and the limes so I picked up these two to give them a shot and then as a New Yorker these just tugged at my heartstrings these are a uh, 9-11 memorial commemorance um air fresheners they say never forget with the um 11 imaging on them and it has the pictures of the um twin towers so um yeah i had to i could not leave these behind so i picked two of them up and then moving on to the decor items that i picked up i'm gonna start off with um these patriotic felt garland and this is just some red white and blue star shaped cutouts and felt and i thought this would be cool to have for the upcoming holidays you can use them both 
uh, for Memorial, um, 4th of July, Flag Day, whatever. These can be used in a multitude of patriotic holidays because it just screams Americana with the red, white, and blue. So I picked up that. And then speaking of garlands, um, I also picked up two of these DIY um, burlap garlands and they're just plain burlap garlands with the jute twine and you can make a multitude of DIYs with these and with so many parties and stuff coming up these are a good a good staple to have in your craft arsenal and then I also picked up the um, plain beige ones and these are not felt these are kind of like a they kind of feel like a not vinyl like a plastic kind of like that tablecloth material like the party tablecloth that's what they feel like and they have the red and white jute strings so i picked up two packs of those then i was lured in by a bunch of their novelty trinkets and doodads i'm just a sucker for them i had to pick them up i picked up this little silver balloon animal dog i just who could say no to this and then of course i had to pick up the corresponding elephant just because it's an elephant and they're they say trunk up brings good luck and so elephants bring good luck so i had to bring one of each home then i found a bunch of these and these just feel like um, plaster. They almost feel like they're unfinished. So I'm assuming you could either, you know, doctor them up a little bit yourself, DIY them, or you can leave them as such. It's, you know, the options are limitless and it's totally up to you. But these are LED decor light ups. And so this is a little unicorn and it has the little switch in the back. And so I'm assuming when you turn it on, it just, um, you know, it lights up through the hole. So, of course, I had to get the unicorn. And then I had to get this little llama, alpaca, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if these actually light up. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's coming up. But, yeah, it changes color. Red, green, blue and purple so yeah that was cute i wish they would just light up a solid color but i'll take it and then i picked up the uh, pineapple of course and then they also had the little buddha head so i picked up these four and I also, you know, they always get me with their magnets because I'm a sucker for magnets. So I had to get this one that says positive vibes, of course, with the bacon and egg. Who wouldn't want to have this? And this one just says sarcasm, just one of the many services that I offer. And this is so me. So I could not pass this up at all. Had to bring it home. And the next two decor items that I picked up were these two little, um plaques and this is just the mdf particle board um plaque and it has the little farm sweet farm galvanized tin sheet on top of the uh, burlap um the only thing that i did notice when i turned it around is that it has the little um alligator clip or the sawtooth hanger it's upside down because the wording is this way and the hanger is on the bottom it should have been over here on the top but nothing that i can't just take out and switch out but just to let you know to pay attention to that because a lot of them um were like that and then i picked up this one as well i really don't know what i'm going to do with it just yet but i knew that i had to pick it up because it is this you know kind of wood look type of mdf board i'm sure tons of yous are going to be doing diys with them i'm sure you can switch out that um backing pattern to a, a you know more cohesive pattern of your choice to match with your decor so i had to pick at least one up there were several different um shapes and sizes but i only had the need for the one and then um the next items are all from the um beauty um aisle so i'm going to start with one of my favorite finds of this um 
haul, which is the Albaline Eye and Makeup Remover. And this is a name brand item that retails for um, a little over six bucks, I believe, maybe at your local Target or Walmart. And so this is just a, a pump um, eye makeup remover. And so I picked up two, one and one for a backup to give it a try. I figured for a dollar a pop, I could not pass that up. Then also down that aisle, I was able to stumble across these whole blends by Garnier. And these are just single use rinse out creams and they're samples. So, you know, if you don't want to commit to buying the uh, big uh, monstrosity bottles of these things without trying them first, this is a good way to test them out and see if they're for you. And so this one is in the... Um, let me see what scent is this. I don't have my glasses on. So this one says it's in the Legendary Olive. And this one is in the Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter. So they sounded interesting enough to want to give them a shot. So I picked up those two. Those were the only two varieties that I saw. And then I picked up these two little hair clips. Every time I go and I see cute little hair clips for my granddaughter i picked them up and so these just had mermaid vibes with the um little sparkly they had different colors but i opted to pick up just the clear and it just has the little clip on the back and so i picked up these two for my granddaughter um had to grab some more of these uh pure silk spot therapy um these are the twin blades um i have no problems with these blades i've used them several times before and they do they get the job done so i picked up another pack um also down the beauty uh care aisle i found these two long lasting lip tints now these are by max factor they i want to say they had two or three other varieties i think it was five in total but they almost all look close to the almost being the same color they were all in the same hue anyway so i picked up these two because they were the only ones that really appealed to me i'm not really much into the lip stains but i figured for a dollar i tried them out and this one looks like it's kind of in the brown to nudie shade and this is more like a berry shade so i picked up these two and last but not least were these two uh suave professional almond and shea butter deep conditioning masks and so i picked them up to give them a, a suave is always in the dollar tree i like suave i pick it up every now and again but the, i've never seen these deep conditioning masks at my Dollar Trees before so I figured I pick them up and give them a shot and that was it for this trips haul you guys that's it and uh, I hope you seen something that you liked in this haul and you might want to go out and give it a shot and try to see if you can find it if you like any of the items that you've seen here throughout this haul please do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up it will help youtube to recognize my channel it will help me out a whole heap and i sure appreciate each and every single one of you for coming on and spending this time with me and once again i will talk to you again really really soon in my next haul bye bye now